Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you probably know, um, the Ukrainians were able to hit, destroy with Storm Shadow missiles, British or French, Scalp or Storm Shadow, the Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Crimea in Sevastopol. I covered that in a video earlier, and today I have a footage of the missiles actually hitting the headquarters. So I will uh, show you how it happened. And uh, I said if in the video that I made earlier, if the Ukrainians are capable of hitting uh, this the headquarters in Sevastopol, um, I'm waiting for the Kirsch Bridge to be destroyed. So not that I'm waiting, but I, uh, I think it's going to happen. So let's look into this little video provided by New Voice of Ukraine. It says uh, video footage of Storm Shadow strike on Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Crimea. As on tape, the, there will be, I think, two of them. A video has emerged online showing the moment when a presumably Ukrainian cruise missile struck the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol, Crimea, on the September 22nd today. The video shows the building already shrouded in smoke when the missiles when the missile strikes it, suggesting that several UK-supplied Storm Shadow cruise missiles were used in the attack. So this is it. Let me make it a little bit bigger and I will put more noise here because I know it's uh, the volume. I know it's going to be there are going to be some little explosions. Ready? Let's see if it works. Oh, there was a clear hit. Let me see it again. Now, have you have you heard any any defense air defense systems going off? The Russians? I haven't heard anything. These missiles just showed up like bang just like that now it must be very frustrating for the russians and i'm not saying this to try to absolve anybody i don't have that power anyway and i think the russians are big boys so they can uh, talk for, or speak for themselves but it must be very frustrating for the russians uh, being hit by someone that they cannot hit back this uh, war in Ukraine is also a testing ground, not only for the Russian um, armament, for weapons, but also for the Westerners without, without supporting any damages. So the Brits, the French, the Americans and the Germans, they're just watching, they're selling or, or sending their weapons over there, they're testing their weapons and they're tweaking their okay this doesn't work really let's see how the russians are working okay so if i do this they react this way so it's a an understanding of how the enemy's weapons are working without being punched so you punch with someone else and you test your technique technique to someone else it's like you fight in a let's say uh, mma fight or in a boxing but you're outside you're just uh you have, you have sensors you have someone else which is the ukrainian in the ring with the guy that you're fighting and you're employing your techniques. I don't know, bam, bam, boom, boom, zap, bam, and you do this. The Ukrainian gets bloody, you don't get it all. You just have the helmet, we you know, they're all virtual, and you fight the real guy who's gonna punch your real man that you are controlling. And then you adjust, oh, this kind of thing didn't work. Oh, oh, I'm gonna try this one. But, oh, it didn't work either. Oh, that's next time, okay. So that's the way you do it. And it seems like these guys are doing it and uh, the Russians are doing it the same, but they don't punch the control center. They don't hit these guys. So these guys are only winning. They are not, uh, how should I put it, affected by any, anything but their own sanctions, which they hope they destroy the Russians' economy more than theirs or ours. And uh, they don't give a shit about us. Don't worry about that one. So here it is concerning uh, if I would be a, a Russian, and I'm not trying to create any panic, uh, the panic is created by being attacked by uh, those missiles without any barrage of defense that I could hear. Uh, so that means you are uh, just uh, hoping that the Ukrainians will not hit you next time 
in your apartment building or your house or hotel or wherever you might be or on the Kirsch Bridge. Thank you very much for being with me again today. And remember, I remember, I said it before and I will say it again, Moscow will be hit the same way. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.